uh, I'm going to take you through a reasoning that then has a fork in the road, and you'll, uh, I'll tell you about each fork. So the fact that there are seashells on mountaintops has been for, had been for centuries invoked by devout Christians, devout religious, monotheistic religious people, as evidence for Noah's flood. Ah, sure. And of course, you wouldn't have to be Christian because that's in the, the Jewish Bible, not the Christian Bible. But so, so the flood would have brought seashells to high places because the whole earth was covered. Okay. That was widely accepted as such. And then Leonardo da Vinci comes along and looks at these seashells and says, wait a minute, these seashells are perfectly laid out. It looks like they got fossilized in place in, a, in an orderly way. Oh. And if there's a catastrophic earthwide flood, nothing gets laid down orderly. You'd expect broken shells, twisted, mixed with all manner of things. And so he used the fact that the shells were orderly, not broken, in their fossilized state, and at high altitude to suggest that maybe the land and the seas were at different elevations in Earth's history. Incredible. And that was in the 1400s. And everyone went, that doesn't even make any sense. Oh, they went, you ruined it. There goes the <laughs> wonder. <laughs> leave, it to, leave it to Da Vinci, yeah. who invited this guy. Uh -huh. Hey, everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to see the full episode with Neil deGrasse Tyson, I invite you to click the link in the description. For more awesome interviews with incredibly fascinating people or inside knowledge from the best in influence, persuasion, negotiation, and nonverbal communication, please hit that subscribe button.